we're going to introduce you to entrepreneurs who are raising money through crowdfunding at this very moment. There's a lot at stake here for us. And put them face to face with some of the top business minds in America who may want in. We're here to raise $500,000 to a million. They've got 30 seconds to pitch their company. I'm all in with whole life. To the super panel and you. I'm Christopher Hubbard and I'm gonna change the world. For the first time on TV, see who has the passion, the dedication, and the right business plan to convince the crowd, the cash crowd. Every deal pitched on the cash crowd is open to a crowd of accredited investors who can get in online. But know this, while startup investments have the potential for explosive growth, they're also potentially extremely high risk. We'll meet the entrepreneurs in a moment first. Let's meet who they're here to pitch to. Lynn Tilton, self-made billionaire and owner of the largest woman-owned business in America. She's invested in and restructured more than 240 companies. She owns MD Helicopters, Rand McNally, Steeler Cosmetics, and more than 70 other companies. Eric Ryan, co-founder of the eco-friendly cleaning product company Method, a brand he started in his apartment and turned into one of the fastest growing consumer packaged goods companies in America, with sales over $150 million in 2013. Barry Nailbuff, business professor at Yale and co-founder of Honest Tea, a company he started with one of his students and eventually sold to Coca-Cola for an undisclosed amount between $100 and $200 million. Here come two entrepreneurs who say that they have invented a new oil filter for cars that will revolutionize the industry. My name is Christopher Hubbard. I'm the founder and chief scientific officer at Hub Filters. Hub Filters is the evolution of oil filtration as the world knows it. I'm the innovator. I'm the R&D guy. I'm the problem solver. I let the financial planning and the strategic planning stick with the guys that do it for a living. They really want this business. Hi, I'm Scott Killips, and I'm the president of Hub Filters, Inc. This is much more than just an oil filter. Even though it's very cool, this is built like a tank with a carbon footprint of a butterfly. When I looked at this, I said, wow, this is something that I got to get involved in because if I can't sell this product, I'm a pretty lousy marketer. He's got vision for the product and how the product's gonna get to sales. I invested myself in the company. I'm investing some additional capital in the company now. I put over two million of my own dollars into this company. I've liquidated my retirement accounts. I've leveraged my family to the max. This is bigger than I am. Scott Christopher, welcome to the Cash Crowd. Hub is raising money on the crowdfunding platform MicroVentures. The deal that they're pitching is open to the accredited investors online and the one sitting right here in our studio. Scott, how much are you looking to raise? 500,000. Okay, uh, you've decided to do the pitch. Christopher, if you could uh, walk off for us for a moment, please. Scott, the Cash Crowd is ready for you now. Thank you, you have 30 seconds. Thank you. This is the Hub filter and we believe it will revolutionize oil filtration. What, what it uses is a dual filter system, which is unprecedented in the market. It's been patented. It also employs a stainless steel media, and combined, that provides unprecedented protection for your engine. So effective, indeed, that you can extend your oil change interval by at least 2x. There's another benefit as well, and that's the environment. This, this filter is permanent, as you can see, and it's cleanable, so it doesn't end up in a landfill like most disposable filters Scott, that are on the market. You're, you're out of time, I'm afraid. Thank you very much. Christopher, come back on in, come back on in uh, and join us. Uh, it's up to the panel now. Lynn, why don't you kick us off? Uh, Christopher, I'm going to come right at you as I did behind the scene, because this is all about the science. As I say, there are only two things people want in product. They want design and disruption. So I look at the design, and it's elegant. And that gives me some hope, because even though it's going to go under the hood, it's beautiful but it's all gonna be about the science and you need to explain that to me and to the people out there on why this is truly different than everything else we've seen. Briefly, if you would. Sure, Lynn. This is different than any other filter in the marketplace. It filters from the outside in in the primary filter and then the inside out into the secondary filter. It uses a two-stage pressure differential valve that equally distributes contaminants across the entire surface of the media. Eric? Guys, you're looking at two different business models at the same time on a small capital base. You've got the fleet size and you've got the consumer size. 
Does it make sense to pursue two models? Why not focus on one first? It's a great question. Um, our view is, is that the fleet market, uh, our, the big filter that you see sitting in front of you, Eric, will be ready for the marketplace in 2015, probably Q1 2015. So our primary focus right now is on the filter that you have in your hand. And we're targeting the quick lube channel, which is a vast market, 50,000 outlets out there, as well as fleets that utilize that market. Uh, and those fleets could be you know, municipal fleets as well as commercial fleets. Professor. If I'm gonna change my oil every 20,000 miles rather than 10, is that gonna mess up the warranty on my car? So the Mag Magnuson Ferguson Act guarantees you, unless a manufacturer is going to give you that part for free, an outside part cannot void the warranty as long as it meets up to the factory specs. And, and I'll tell okay, you this. Okay, good. Is Jiffy Lube gonna be happy that I'm gonna go there half as often now? Why are they gonna sell your product? Uh, Jiffy Lube is really, we've had discussions with them and they're very excited about this product opportunity because what we're recommending for their customers is that they come in at the same frequency, but instead of having the oil changed every time, they have the oil changed every other time, but our filter, which, which is utilized, uses this machine here, cleans the filter in about 10 minutes. So you as a consumer come in, have your oil changed or not on one change, but on the next one, when you come in and have the filter clean, you're in and out in less than 10 minutes instead so, of the standard 30. So will Jiffy Lube make more money working with Hub than a traditional oil filter? Yes. I'm yes. not buying that business model. Tell me why an OEM would put this in their car. Your best bet is selling to the car manufacturers. Tell me why they would do that. That's a simple answer. We reduce friction and increase flow back to the engine. That filter never allows unfiltered oil back to the engine. There's not another oil filter on the planet that can claim that and has the independent test data to back it up. And the cost of the product? Retail. You make, what you make, your cost to make this product? $40. And where are your margins? Well, just, just not to correct my, my, uh, my big friend here, but it's actually $30. But our wholesale price is, uh, is $45. We think we can get the cost down through some product cost reductions over time to in the uh, low 20s, perhaps even as high as the teens. One last one from you, Professor. Isn't the big sale to the UPS, FedEx, Hertz, the fleets? Have you had any luck there so far? And if not, why not? Um, we, we have meetings set up with some of those people right now. What we're holding off, uh, is until we actually have the test data on that big filter, uh, to, which we'll have at the end of November in order to have those, uh, those discussions. Okay, it's time to talk cash. Will the super panel show Hub the money? We'll get the answers after this. And is the cash crowd online revved up about these oil filters? See how much Hub's raised so far, next. And welcome back to the cash crowd. This is the moment of truth for Scott and Christopher, who pitched a disruptive oil filter technology that they believe will revolutionize the industry. You'll remember they're looking to raise $500,000. The deal went live earlier in the week on MicroVentures. They have commitments of $85,000, but Hub must raise a minimum of $100,000 or none of those commitments are funded. Guys, it's decision time. The minimum investment here in this deal is five grand. Eric, they said they'd like to hear your verdict first. Christopher and Scott, I do not like that shirt, but I love your passion. <laughs> I think you've got a great value proposition here, both to the trade, to consumers, as well as the government, if you can make the science work. I'm in for $5,000. I'm gonna wait to hear what Lynn learns about the science, and if she feels good about it, I'll be in for a lot more. And hey, if this thing can cut emissions by 30%, like we need to get behind this and we need to make this work. Okay, before we right. hear from Lynn Professor, where are you? Well, um, I think you've gone a long way. You've got the great product now and you've run out of money. And so I appreciate this is the make or break moment for you. And I think it's a bet, it's a big bet, but with commercial behind it, I think it can work. I hope all the viewers today say, this is the filter I need and so, I'll go in for five as well. Okay, uh, Lynn, final well, words. It's up to you, it would, it would well, appear. Well, Chris, I'm looking for the third party validation. I've asked you to send me those white papers. Um, this is my industry. I, I, I think your business model's off, as we've discussed. I think this is an OEM play. I think this is something that needs to go in the car if it's special. I'm gonna give you $5,000 as a vote of confidence because Chris, I like you, and I think you put your life and soul into it. If, 
It's all about Chris today. Okay. It's the shirt. <laughs> okay. So, but but really, if the if the third party val validation is there, if the science works. I will be a big investor. Okay. okay, gentlemen, you needed to hit, in this instance, $100,000 for those commitments to be funded. Between the crowd and the panel, you have $100,000, so it looks like you're funded. How do you feel? Great. Thank you very, pretty, very much. Pretty darn good. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your feedback, too. So, appreciate it. So what happens now? What's next for you guys? Where do you take this? Well, we got to hit the road with, uh, with our sales effort to validate everything that we've been talking about today. And I'm going to send Lynn everything she needs, and she'll Oops. share it with the panel. And we hope to have your support, Lynn, with some uh, OEMs. That would be awesome. I mean, you, you have fleets of cars in, in the businesses that you operate, Lynn. Well, no, I also have a, a very large automotive platform, and all the major OEMs are my customers. And this, I think, will, if, it's, if the science works, then the big buyer is the car manufacturers. I think this aftermarket model, the, the money, the science, it may work, but the, the business model, the economics does not. Briefly, Eric. Yeah, I would love to clean uh, every one of these with method soap. <laughs> Maybe we put a deal together. I can't wait to see uh, what work. model okay. you guys figure out, and I think there's big potential here. It, we, we have to leave it there. Christopher, Scott, thank you so and much. Eric, thank I'm you, gonna call you to our super panel.